And now we're going to go to Fig, Homing Limits. And for the X, reversed, we're going to keep all of them um, non-reversed. And the Home Negative should be checked for all three. That means it's going to go towards the negative side to go to the zero. Um, home Off, that means Home Offset. That will be the number that it will put into the X, Y, and Z when it finds those switches. So let's go with that and press OK. Press the reset button and let's line up the, the plates. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to select the reference all home and that's going to move the, the axes to the home position. So, so for demonstration purposes, I've created this mock-up. We'll hold this plate down rigidly. When the end mill does hit it, it won't move anywhere. So let's go. We're going to go ahead and reference all axes to home. When using plates to home the X, Y, and Z axes, it's best to actually do them individually and then pull the, the end mill back off of the plate. So let's, I'm going to demonstrate this. Right now it's off of the plate. Once we home the Z axis, we will pull back off of the plate and then do the same thing to Y and then the X. So to do this, ref Z and you'll see it starts to move down and then it'll stop at the plate. And then I'm gonna back off. Once the Z has been, once the Z has been homed, unfortunately doing it individually won't automatically put a zero here. So we can do that manually, zero the Z. And then we're gonna pull up and then we're gonna do the same thing to Y. Go back to the diagnostic screen. We're gonna ref Y and then zero the, the Y and now back off of the Y. And now we're gonna do the same thing to X. Now we can go to program, run, and 0x. Now you have all of them at the correct location according to the end mill.